Hi guys, uh, welcome to the We Travel Alone channel. We're Beck and Mark, so we're normal everyday nine to five workers who are plotting to change our life to be digital nomads in the next few years. Hey, can you imagine zipping around the rice fields in Bali on a motorbike or finding the latest hot cafe that you see on TikTok? Well, we can imagine that. And part of being a digital nomad is the freedom that it affords you. What complements a good digital nomad lifestyle? Well, we think a scooter complements it because, hey, everyone rides scooters in Asia. You know, they offer an affordable way to move around, see things. They're much better than getting a grab all the time and you can find amazing new destinations with them. Getting a taxi or hiring a driver for the day all the time won't be helpful for your budget and that's something that we'll need to be mindful of. Even if we're living overseas, we still need to worry about how much we're spending and this is one way that we'll be able to see the best of places, see some out there places and save some money at the same time. Most definitely. So do you know that in Bali you can, or even Indonesia or Thailand or uh, Vietnam, Vietnam. <laughs> <laughs> Bali and Indonesia are the same place obviously, um, you know you can hire a scooter for around $200 a month which is really good value you know and scooters don't use much petrol as you zip around places. Uh, so what do you think we're going to do about this? Uh, we don't have motorbike licenses, so we're going to go and get a motorbike license. Well, he's convincing me we're going to get a motorbike license. <laughs> so I'm a little bit of the stress head, the worry ward of the two of us. So I asked Mark to enroll us in a pre-motorbike course, which is something... Um, we've never ridden motorbikes before. We have our full car licenses, but it seems to be something that really worries me, uh, having seen accidents and things like that in Asia and, um, and obviously having people have accidents over there and, and not be covered. It was something that I really wanted to make sure that we understood and we were covered for. So for two people our age, well, my age, I'm 50, Rebecca's still in her mid to mid 40s oh, <laughs> uh look the 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 little course we did yesterday the pre-learners course was invaluable to sort of this teaches the basics of a bike uh where the clutch is where the brakes are where the throttle is so we had a really nice instructor who took us out on this big asphalt area where there was nothing else around and we got a chance to ride the bikes in circles practicing our starting stopping uh, going through the gears and everything like that. So it was really, really a lot of fun and probably convinced us that actually it's something that we would we like to do. Because this is not something that I have ever wanted to do. Um, Mark has contemplated it a couple of times and I've shut it down very quickly. Um, we'll get to those reasons a little bit later. <laughs> but it's not something I was comfortable doing. But after just doing that little um, couple hour course, it was fantastic and I actually had a lot of fun. So... Uh, so what, are, what is the process where we live? Uh, we live in the state of Victoria in Australia. So from here, we have to go and book in and get a two-day, do a two-day uh, learner's course, which costs around $535 each to get the license. Um, so basically, do similar to what we did yesterday. They take you through an initial bit of uh, training to get you up to speed on the bike, and then you practice corners, bends, everything that you would expect to be a paperwork so you know the rules but uh, being drivers we already know the rules most of the time so which is really good so Do you though? Well, Do you know the rules? <laughs> Rebecca always says she's a better driver than me so we'll go with that so after we get that then we're going to go and buy ourselves a scooter so that's where we've sort of stopped right now we're looking for a scooter, we will book in for our learners coming up the only problem with that is Mark works every second weekend and we're not available midweek, so we have to sort of pin <laughs> that down. And because we also live in a, a rural area, there's not too many scooters floating around. No, there's so not. it might be a trip to Melbourne to I see think what we so. Can get. Um, look, getting the scooter itself is probably an invaluable experience for us because we don't have a background in riding scooters, and anyone who's been to Asia knows that. It looks fairly hectic out over there, so we probably need as much practice as we can before we get onto foreign roads mm -hmm. and foreign scooters. Yeah. So the biggest reason why we're doing this is travel insurance. A lot of people go over to Asia and see, as we said, so many people riding scooters and think it's really easy. 
these guys have been riding scooters since probably well before they're allowed to and it's an experience that they have they have so much a wealth of knowledge of everything about them and we don't want in any way shape or form to have a, an accident hurt anyone else and us not be covered by our travel insurance so we don't want to break any local laws there might be you know our motorbike license and then an international driver's license and if we have to do a course within that country to be covered then that's what we'll do too because we want to respect all laws and and everything that that is there so every day on facebook and places like that i see people who start a gofundme to cover their medical expenses because they've gone to countries in asia like bali crashed their scooter and now have a pile of medical bills this high um and that's obviously because they don't have a bike license or a motorbike license that allows them to get travel insurance to cover any accidents they have. That's certainly not something that you'll see from us. So, Mark, we're going to have to, both of us will have to do our research and make sure that we are covered and we'll find a, a travel insurance that will cover us for that. And if we can't, then we won't, we won't ride. be riding. So, so, yeah, so we've got a bit going on and a bit going forward. Uh, <laughs> To make this happen so we've still got a bit of time uh to practice it and spend six months or nine months on our learners with our little scooter riding around uh, riding around our hometown yeah it might actually seem pretty out of place in our hometown so there's certainly no scooters around that no where we live um, no. only cars so so yeah so that's the plan and that's what we're going to do look uh glad that you could all tune in and watch this video this week um Stay tuned. Next week, there'll be another one coming at you. Bye. Bye.